egg spot. For this project, we'll need a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. I always begin by removing the AC adapter and the battery. Remove the two screws that hold the center control power button cover to the base of the computer. Turn the computer over and fully open the display flattening out as far as possible. Unsnap the power button cover using the small flathead screwdriver. Next. Lift the power button cover starting from right to left. Remove the two retaining screws above the keyboard. Gently lift the keyboard up to reveal the ribbon below. Be careful lifting the keyboard because it is very easy to cause damage to the ribbon cable and to the motherboard connector. Next, lift the keyboard cable connector latch and remove the keyboard ribbon cable and keyboard. Remove the Bluetooth card by unscrewing the single retaining screw. Unplug and slide the cable out, unhooking it from the motherboard. Reroute the Bluetooth cable and plug the connector into the motherboard. Press the Bluetooth card onto the cable card and secure it with the retaining screw. Place the keyboard cable into the motherboard connector, press down on the latch. Next, place the keyboard into the palm rest, aligning the tabs on the bottom to the palm rest. Replace the two screws at the top of the keyboard. Place the power button cover onto the laptop, starting from the left side, moving to the right side while snapping it into place. Next, close the lid and flip the laptop over. Replace the two screws that hold the power button cover to the laptop base assembly. And insert the battery. found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.